going to make apple pie. Now apple pie, if you're American, most likely you love or you've had throughout your life. If you're human, you've probably had apple pie. So apple pie is a classic and I decided to tackle it on my channel today. I realized that um, I was in the mood for pie. I get in the mood for apple pie occasionally, maybe every few years sometimes. So. Uh, I thought I would make one from scratch, attempt to make one from scratch on my channel today. One of the hardest parts of making a pie is making the pie crust. So we're going to go ahead and attempt that first and try to get that out of the way. Well, so this is a healthy your version of apple pie. We are going to use oil. I like to use when I cook with oil, either coconut oil or olive oil. So I thought I would use coconut oil for this particularly recipe, particular recipe, and we're using the food processor because that I find is the easiest when I'm making, when I'm trying to make biscuits or crusts, the food processor works beautifully. Anyways, let's get into the recipe. Uh, first things we're gonna use, I'm using half whole wheat pastry flour and half unbleached all-purpose flour. So that's what I'm gonna throw into my food processor, processor first. Dump that in without making too much of a mess here. So you want three cups, three cups of flour. You could use all purpose flour if you wanted to, um, uh, but I wanted to make this a little healthier. So I did half whole wheat pastry, which is soft and it's gonna, it's gonna work with the crust, it's gonna make it great. Okay, so next what we wanna do is I'm gonna throw in a pinch of sea salt. I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of organic cane sugar. You can use whatever sugar you like. The filling actually is gonna be sugar-free. So if you wanna use like a, a sugar-free sugar for the crust, do that, or you can leave it out. But I like to add a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm gonna go ahead and pulse together all the dry ingredients. I really do feel like using a processor just works so much easier. You're gonna see, you watch and see. And then you have one cup of coconut oil. Now, if you would melt this, it would be less than a cup, but it's because we're using it solid, it's going to act as the butter and as the shortening. So let me get a spoon. All right, so we're just gonna dollop this in here all over, and we're just gonna pulse it until it gets like pea-sized, the same way you would work in butter. I remember one of my first uh, like just, uh, recipes I attempted to make. I was a little girl, I couldn't have been older. I guess I was about nine, 10. And um, I attempted like a French pastry dish where you had to make the crust from scratch. Don't know why I picked something that complicated. Uh, didn't turn out too good. I mean, it was okay. <laughs> but it just kind of reminds me of making this because I'm attempting to make a successful crust. So I'm still, I'm still growing, guys, every day. So you just want to go ahead and process this about 18 seconds. While it's processing, we're going to pour in the water. You want about a half a cup. Yep. So yeah, about a half of a cup, which is exactly what I have in here. We're just gonna pour it in while it mixes all together. Let it get pea sized first and then now I'll start pouring in the water. Alright, that's what you're looking for. Look at that. That's how it should look. Alright, so now we wanna roll it out. And I'm gonna roll out one to go ahead and put in the pan in the fridge. And then I'm gonna keep the other one. I'm gonna put that in the fridge as well. So let's go ahead and roll out our dough. Look up. I've got it compact, just like this. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. One might be a little bigger than the other, but that's okay. And then what I want to do is I'm going to set aside one piece of it, and wrap it in. Uh, clear wrap and put that in the fridge and roll that out next. I'm gonna go ahead and work on rolling this one out to put into the pie pan um, that I have to go find. You just put another piece, if you have wax paper, you do that, over the top, roll it out, preferably with a um, rolling pin, but this is all I got, so. My pie dish it's not really deep so but I've rolled out my pie crust and I put the other one in the fridge and I'm gonna put this in the fridge as well make sure you have preheated your oven go ahead and preheat it to like 
I don't know, 400 or whatever. Just get it searing hot. Okay, that's my oven notified. That's cute. And then I just kind of put my crust onto here and I just kind of unpeel it. Okay, so it's not super pretty, not, you know, it's it's from scratch. It's, it's not really good. It's super pretty. But here we go. It's all covered. I'm going to go ahead and just cover it, put it in the fridge, and two, we get the apple mixture ready, and then we're going to roll out the second half, and we're halfway done, guys. Now is the easy part. Just peel the apples, and then after that, it's, it's home run from there. So, I have about five, six apples here. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna slice them to see if I can fit in as many as possible. So, first you wanna peel them. I have a peeler around here. Don't know if I left it at my sister's or not, but use a sharp knife and peel it, and then chop it up. And so, that's all we're gonna it in semi-thin slices bring in the juice of one lemon and then I'm just gonna toss the apples in that coat them coat them nicely gonna add in a half a cup of maple sugar I've cooked the when I was like trying this out I was trying out uh, trying to make an apple pie from scratch for the first time I made it with maple sugar and it was just it was delicious, so I thought, I'm gonna use it. So I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, and then you could do a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg if you have it, or you can leave it out, it's totally empty. And inside it, guys. Oh, God, it smells. All right, and then I'm gonna do just a tiny pinch of sea salt. Also, I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. I like to add a little bit of vanilla extract in here when I do it as well. So there. And then I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is gonna act as our flour. You could also do just all-purpose, unbleached all-purpose flour, that will work too. But I like the cornstarch. It's gonna thicken everything up, make the sauce. Just, it's gonna make its own sauce. Just coat the apples with everything even. Try to coat each apple with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cornstarch, a little bit of sugar. Use your favorite apples in this, guys. And like I said, if you have a crust that works, that's fine too, but I'm gonna tell you this filling is so simple and so delicious. You could use this filling with any pie crust of your choice. All right, so it has been evenly coated. So I'm gonna go get my pie crust. I'm gonna roll out the second one and we're gonna throw this in the oven. Here's the pie crust. And what I'm gonna do is Gotta roll out the second one, like so. I told you, working with wax and parchment paper just makes it so much easier. I have to kind of re-roll it out because I was a little too hasty, so it's got some of the cinnamon on top, but that's okay. Just gonna trim the edges here. Trim the edges, and if you see any gaps, you can just kind of fill them in. the sides you don't have to guys I'm gonna cut some bits in this to for some air and then throw it in the oven and that's it I'm gonna brush some milk and a little bit of sugar on top just to help it brown and then I'll vent it Okay guys, we did it. We made an apple pie from scratch and it's rustic looking. It doesn't look perfect, but it is my 
first apple pie that I have made from scratch. So, you know we got to taste, guys. Taste test. Best apple pie. The the crust is perfect. It's perfect. It's light. It's flaky. It's buttery. You guys, will try this out and subscribe for more if you haven't already. And I will see you again very very soon.